The Dynamic Mechanical Analyzer, or DMA, is used to find the moduli at any temperature along with the glass transition temperature. The DMA applies an oscillating stress or strain and analyzes the response of the material. Most polymers are viscoelastic, meaning that as stress is applied, there is a lag in the material's response. These materials have elastic and viscous characteristics corresponding to the ability to store and lose energy, respectively. These are called the storage and loss moduli. The instrument can be cooled by using either an air or nitrogen cooling system. The nitrogen is supplied by a smaller tank, which is filled by the larger tank. Connect the cable to either the air or nitrogen tubes by screwing on the connecting joint. Turn on the switch for the nitrogen after the tank is connected, and you will see a green light. To switch between clamps, unscrew the four screws evenly and remove the clamp. Also remove the bottom moving piece. When installing the new clamp, tighten the screws evenly. Make sure to perform the clamp calibration every time clamps are switched. Click on the Calibrate tab, then Clamp. Specify the clamp type and that all calibrations should be performed. Follow the prompts on the screen. The furnace should be closed for most calibrations. Press the furnace button to open up the furnace. The DMA has several different clamps for different experiments, with the most common being tension and three-point bending. In a tension test, a long, thin sample is inserted, and a tensile force is applied to analyze the material's response. The sample should be 5 to 30 millimeters in length, up to 6.5 millimeters in width, and up to 2 millimeters in thickness. To insert the sample, make sure the drive button reads locked. Unscrew the sample holders and insert your sample. If you have a softer sample, use the smooth side of the holders. If it is a stiffer sample, use the riveted side. To move the bottom holder, press the drive button so it reads floating. Be careful when moving the bottom clamp as it is very fragile. Adjust the height and then press the drive button again to lock it. Always make sure it is locked before loading and unloading your sample. Secure your sample by tightening the screws. After the sample is installed properly, put the mesh covering over the clamp to help heat the system more evenly. Then close the furnace by pressing the furnace button. Watch the white cable to make sure it doesn't get caught in the furnace. In a three-point bending test, a sample is supported at the ends while force is applied in the middle of the sample. A three-point bending sample should be at least 25 millimeters long to allow for a slight overhang of the bending supports. The sample should also be no more than 15 millimeters in width and 7 millimeters in thickness. Sample preparation must be very accurate as the clamps are sensitive to any deformations in the sample and can cause substantial error. To mount the sample, adjust the movable part by changing the driver button to floating. Put the sample in and then press the clamp button so the middle part lowers to secure the sample. Then close the furnace. Open the TA Instrument Explorer and click on the Q800 icon. In the Summary tab, set the mode to DMA Multi-Frequency Strain, which means an oscillating strain is applied to the sample. Specify the clamp type and the sample shape. Name your sample and pick a location for your file. Measure the width and thickness multiple times using a micrometer and enter in the averages. In the Procedure tab, use the tables to set your amplitude, preload force, and force track. The preload force imparts a slight tension to the sample and is usually between 0.01 and 0.5 newtons. Force track makes sure the static force, or force of the sample, is adjusted to be a set percentage higher than the drive force, which drives the sample at the set amplitude. Next, specify your method. Temperature typically increases at 3 degrees C per minute, and the temperature can range from room temperature and below up to 600 degrees C. Typical runs range from room temperature to the TG plus 70 degrees C. If you don't know your TG, make sure to watch the run to find where your TG occurs. Click Measure on the software to apply the preload force, measure the length of the sample, and start the motor. Watch the current conditions. The amplitude should remain constant at the value chosen. The stiffness should be within the range of 100 to 10 million newtons per meter, and the drive force should not be more than 18 newtons. Once the parameters are correct and relatively stable, press Start to begin the experiment. This is a typical DMA graph showing the storage and loss moduli. It also shows the tan delta, which is the ratio of the loss to the storage modulus. Turn off the nitrogen, open the furnace, and remove the sample when the test is completed.